Okay, being on black folks, I basically just popped in and seen an old picture of 2009 that really puts the truth out to a lot of people too. Okay, it was Venus, and in these pictures in 2009 at these times, and I'll be able to show you up, basically Venus on this date ended up putting a shadow over there, okay, because it was very close to the supergiants and the sun. And as you can see, how much that they actually cut out, because the idea that in 2009, there was still a lot to, to cut out also, okay. As you see that when we show you both shots, and it's basically ahead, or basically behind and behind, the same shot, okay. But uh, I guess basically that's why we're not seeing the other side of the supergiants or the sun right there. So you've got Venus there, and then on, on this date it, it puts a little shadow because Venus is right there, okay. And doing the same thing that we've seen in the videos lately, and let me go to one video up, up, up real fast. You can see some action that we got going on with Venus there. Now remember... It's all overlay on color and so forth and so on, okay? But as you can see, uh, runway, 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 uh, comets, uh, V flashes like crazy, and as you've seen the date, that's the cl closest on the 29th. Now I'll go ahead and give it an A and a B shot. Uh, Venus, Venus is, looks very large right now because it's fighting off the CMEs and it's doing the CME reactive puffing and flaring and might be running out of puffing and flaring gas that we've seen originally that it had that big spurt plus we also know that Venus has uh, moons that have volcanoes on it and basically I would even conjecture that the idea that they don't even really know whether it's Venus that has the volcanoes or maybe just the moons but they don't really show us the footage of the saying where they've come up with that so last night I have basically put this up and then had the sound stolen I'll see if we get sound on this or not and this should have been Venus here, the little dot, and the idea that this down here could have possibly been some sort of reflection of Venus, okay? Uh, but what is it reflecting off of, and it's going to be, uh, now we know that this was Jupiter in the moon, okay? And then if you watch that footage, there's no sound, but it's a video just before this one, and you'll get a good idea what the night sky looked like last night. And like I say, the charts, if you watch the charts on there too, so I don't have to pull it up, you go to that video and you watch, and the charts even show that the idea that even the constellations were, were a, a very low illumination and so forth and so on. Either that or they did some special reflective action with Venus getting its CME action. So basically, this could possibly, down there, the brightness on the very bottom, could possibly be Venus. But it really shouldn't have, and that means that even the constellation charts are off even more because the idea how low it was. Okay, and yes, we're looking at the night sky, but it still should give a pretty good projection of where it should be in the night sky compared to also the constellation maps. So I am not, I am pretty much positive that that was probably Venus down here. Okay, but really, when you look at the constellation maps, this should have been Venus. And then with all the CME action, we're getting real brightness of this and this and whatever that would, you'll end up finding off of the constellation map. So there's no sound to it, but the video just before this will show you a lot of action from last night. Okay? So let me try to see if I can fit another. And then I got people basically, since we know the knowledge of the supergiants, trying to say that uh, we're sitting there looking at Venus. And then the idea that it's some trying to make... You know, all uh, there's people that are trying to do playwrights and trying to do say Shakespeare, and I don't hate Shakespeare. Might be the Scottish, possibly in one of my one of my toes or something like that. Who knows? But the idea that there's an actor every day, it seems like, trying to pull BS. So if the CME action's out there, and remember that the green is light CME, but it's still a hell of a CME, and we can see the yellowish that hits the Earth, which is yellow. There is Earth. Earth is your go by your deal here. And remember, Mercury is getting uh, mess or is doing a good job of helping Messenger get some shots. We would think. See, interesting that we don't see anybody blabbing and talking about what Messenger is being able to see. Okay, so let's go ahead and well, and you can see the axis move. I'll show you that real fast. You see, it's off on the north today, and off on the so basically we've seen a, a lot of movement to the to the center in a way, and then also to the east in a way so we always twist like a bullet through 
space. They pretty much know that now, and they pretty much don't argue with people when we mention and talk about that we're moving like a bullet through space. And we are moving at about 6,000 miles an hour faster than the normal 60,000 miles an hour that we are. And we actually, we could be going more than that and faster than that. And there's been a lot of people do moonshots and going that we're rotating a hell of a lot faster possibly too. Okay, So there's been people with basically hard data doing that with taking shots. And as you see, we're getting a little bit better on the graphs today reading. So you see the CME has calmed down a little bit. But basically yesterday's CME, when I did the taping of, of showing you, and then the idea when you get breakups like this, that's CME action too because it's breaking up the signal of being the oscilloscopes being able to read. So there's still some breakup, but at least we're not getting that whole fuzzy out that we got the other day. And as you can see, the graphs are, I think, too small for what's actually getting appropriated up there in space, folks. Uh, either either we're always dropping. So that means the CMEs are always high because we're always high and dropping. So it's not just uh, steady low that you can see when the idea that when we're usually in a calm, you'll see a graph like, let's go down to the next graph and you'll see a calm on one of the graphs. Like even though we're coming off and you can see that it's very exaggerated, so that CME has done a lot of action, the stuff would be down here and not spiking like this. And basically you'd see this about the same on the low humps down a bit. And same here down a bit. So everything is spiking. And uh, it's just basically, I, I am not going to get into dissecting every little graph and stuff like that. So, but you, because everybody that watches the graphs is saying, we're seeing some wild stuff on the graphs, wild stuff on the graphs. We've seen big ass drops just straight down like these on, on this one and so forth. So, and also on this one. So, it's, you know, and we all know, we can all see what's going on, and we can all, so let's go ahead and you can see, you know, the balding and everything like that, and the, basically the big flares, and very, the scientists are getting a really good, like, oh, holy cow, yeah, holy cow, holy moly. Okay, what's wild, folks, is check out the flash to the left, okay, not to the right, okay, the sun and the supergiants is to the right, but check the flash out that's coming out from the left, there's your date and time, ladies and gentlemen. So something's reacting big time to a CME. Uh, I'd say that massive CME we had hit something like Jupiter or something or has hit a bunch of stars and done something. Something happened. Or something's reflecting back off a bunch of something. Because no matter what, you see with your eyes that the sun and the supergiants to the right and whammo, we get some kind of massive light not a light scattering like we see up at the sun and the supergiants when we see those massive going through space. That is awesome and wild and that is uh that's something. So that CME that we know that nine and, and stuff like that and I don't you know CMEs are CMEs. I know that they have their gauges and they rate them and stuff like that. But check this out. I mean this is just undeniable and I'm gonna even pop this down to like 150 wasn't watching it a while ago and you see that I'm here I'm at and you can see the whole page and this is just wild check that out humongous all the way up and down are we getting that's what's starting to I think that's what the scientists are starting to worry about on then with that one guy but see I don't like the fear mongering so everything's okay you know we you know we're sitting here every day you look at the weather outside everything's hunky dory but this in space could be what they're worried about what happened down here with the telegraph wires back in 1859. So, I mean, it's space weather is always to watch, and we know that they watch it for weather on Earth, and that is just wild, ladies and gentlemen, because no one's got a flashlight that big. Now, if everybody's religious, like I am too, you know, okay, God's can, God can have a flashlight, anybody can have a flashlight, spirits, I mean, you know, what the hell, what is that? But that's a basic scientific minded. So the idea that you're seeing a flash cube go off, ladies and gentlemen, there ain't nothing made of man that can make that many biz millions of miles in almost light years. And then that's people making stupid ass remarks about the idea that something is between us and the sun and it's something like 600 and some light years away, but it's between us and the sun. Give me a break. It's idiots. So this is just dramatic footage. This is probably the most dramatic thing that we've got because the idea that we know the supergiants exist and so forth and so on, and we know that that's Venus, and we don't know what the hell the biggest flashlight in the world is going off there, folks. Because it's not coming from, and if it is coming from the supergiants, then it's coming real big, and it's something that's happening behind the sun and deeper into the supergiants, and whammo, and it's coming all the way over the top, 
and the only thing that's blocking it is this flare and, and, and CMEing of the sun and the supergiants, folks, because you can see it's just like a fire hydrant. And then whammo, we're getting all this light. So we got some wild CME action going on out there in space, folks. Your eyes do not lie to yourself, okay? Wild. And that ain't feed from NASA messing up. That's whammo CME action. Something. That's something lighting up space. Okay, and then I got the 29th on B. And as you can see that there is some kind of a glitch at about... You figure that hour out by freezing and slow it down. Maybe I can freeze and slow down. Let me play with this and see if I can figure out what they're trying to cover up, that big CME or something. Because you can see something happens over to the right. You can see some light. See that light? All of a sudden, bam, it's there, and then it disappears. But we've seen how it's coming from a different direction on the other shot. So let's slow this down. Yeah, you see brightening to the right. And you can see the clock, how I've slowed it down. And you can see the brightness to the right. And when you know where the sun and the supergiants is to your left there, the sun's ushing off and the supergiants are ushing off all that. And there comes a humongous CME. And then see, we get, when we slow it down, and I don't know if I can dare slow it down anymore because we don't have that much video time, but you've seen that. So back up the tape, or and then he watches here in a second. Here it comes again. bam -o, and then you can see a gigantic through space, like we have seen on the other planets separately. It's like a humongous group or some, you know, we know that there's massive stuff out there. Did some kind of a reactive CME, like we that's what we call them, the react, reactive CMEs from planets to the CMEs of the sun and the supergiants. And then whammo, and you can see the sun to the right. And you can see what they did with the timing. Let's see what time it, what time does it blink out because normally that should go for 23 hours. 21, 22. Okay, so it went to 23. So basically it did that CME. At almost close to the 2400 hour. So that's where we get that little bit of a gap. See if I can mask over and get more time in the next so I figured I'd come over and slow this down because I couldn't get it to go any more on the next day. You can only get the one day shot. So you, and I'll slow this down a little bit more and you get a little bit of idea of how it was blinking off of. Because we get a humongous wowness out there from... And it's just the idea that if it ends up being, oh, well then why would NASA ever, or I mean, why would, you know sechi or ever to give us a false picture they're, this is all scientific pictures okay so they're not just going to all of a sudden all of a start flashing a bunch of light on the screen and if they are so it's some part of a cme action from something either the sun so it's an invisible electrical that's the only thing i could figure that that's an invisible electrical of the cme that comes out gushing out a little bit later so basically we get light and that's going to basically, it still gets seen. The camera still sees it because there's a, a huge electrical massive all the way through space before that CME comes out. Because as you see, just before, right after that flash, you get the flash and then you get the oosh of that CME action there. So it's a CME. But it's wild how it came through space and then lights up way far out here. So it's like lightning and popping against her and getting reactive for something. So it's just amazing. Because that's the first time we've seen it. That's the first time I've seen anything like that for a long time. It's just all of a sudden within one day. A big CME like that. Normally you just see the CME like oosh out big old. And now they're, they're like dry popcorn farts if you can say anything about the sun. Okay. So we know that's Venus and you can keep seeing that change in size. And we'll just finish this up with this t new footage because this is pretty dramatic and then uh, I'll slow it down one more step and we can see through the rest of the time on this video see what how uh, Venus and if I'm you know I just be honest with the idea that that should be the only planet that you're going to see there or actually I could be totally wrong and this is either Mercury or Mars but it should be uh, actually I think I am wrong I think that could be Mercury really haven't been worried about being right on what that is or not right now
but it should be Mercury. I'll uh, see if I got time. And you know, I think I'll start going to this more often, folks. So basically, you see the sun, okay, and it's always in the well. Earth back here. Stereo A was getting Mercury. So that was Mercury where we were seeing. Mercury was in A, and Venus is what we're seeing at nighttime. Venus is what we're seeing low in night sky more than